I'm sitting down with David Rutherford Jones from Pole Dance Cape Town. Today he's going to introduce us to pole dancing as a way for men to get fit. Hello. Hi there. How are you? I'm good and yourself. Good, thanks. Now I called it pole dancing in my intro, but I think it's being referred to now as pole fitness. That is um, correct, yeah. And we don't often hear about men who are doing pole fitness. So first of all, why don't you tell me how you got started in it? Sure. Yeah, it is quite an unusual thing for a man to do, um, especially in Cape Town. I got into it, uh, my ex actually, mm -hmm. girlfriend, ironically got me into it. I went to a party and they had a pole there and uh, one of the studio owners, the ex studio owner of Pole Dance Cape Town in fact, was there and she let me mess around in the pole that was there and she gave me six months free class okay. to perform in a showcase. And yeah, that's pretty much how the journey started. What did you think of pole dancing and pole fitness before you got into it? I, I was under the impression that it was mainly for women, which is completely wrong. Mm. Um, and yeah, I kind of put it into a bit of a girly state, I would say. You know, that's a girl's sport. Yeah. Um, and then after obviously trying it out and dying quite badly <laughs> <laughs> in the first class, I realized it. That this is quite a challenge and men can definitely do it as well, yeah. I've also tried pole dancing and I definitely died in the yeah, first class. It is very hard. Um, what other kinds of stigmas or misconceptions do you think people have when it comes specifically to men doing pole fitness? The biggest one would be you're gay, mm. without a doubt. This, that stereotype goes everywhere. I just performed at a showcase about three months ago and literally 90% of the audience was like, wow, that gay guy was great. And then obviously my friends were like, um, he's, he's straight. But that would, I would definitely say that's the biggest stigma around it for men. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the second one that comes with is what women also get. It's like, are you a stripper? Mm. Which is, uh, it's not as common with men because um, like Magic Mike doesn't really dance in the pole much. He yeah. like grinds out the floor. <laughs> so, but like obviously women are more associated with female stripping. Mm. So yeah. Now, what, is that hard for you to overcome? Everyone, everyone putting these. Uh, not really. I, I I don't really care. Labels, I guess, on you. Yeah. No, yeah. not really. I, I really enjoy the sport, and mm. I'm really bad at taking other people's opinions mm. into account. So I kind of just go with the go with flow and do my own thing. Yeah. Now, would you say uh, pole fitness for men is a growing trend? Maybe not in South Africa, but worldwide. Yeah, definitely, mm. definitely. That's quite big in Europe. There's more and more men, especially in Europe and even in the States are coming on more, uh, considerably a lot more. What advice do you have for other guys who maybe want to try but are stuck in that confine that we were just speaking about where they don't know, you know, are people going to accept what I'm doing because there's this misconception around right. it? Um, well, for a start, stop caring about what everyone thinks. Mm. That's rule number one. I mean, but that should be a rule number one in your whole life, like not just to one type of sport you're doing. Um, and two, just give it a go. Um, come to one of the classes I teach. Um, I'm very male orientated, obviously, so it's very, we don't like dance around the pole. It's extreme conditioning and it's really tough. I haven't met one guy who has lasted one class with me yet, so there's a challenge out there to anyone who wants to come and try. <laughs> there you go, you've made a challenge yeah. to the whole of Cape Town. Pretty much. <laughs> now you look incredibly fit. Um, so congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I should give you a little round of applause. Um, wh what kind of fitness does, does pole dance or pole fitness entail? What kind of muscle groups are we going to be working out? What kind of guy does it kind of uh, um, cater to? A huge amount of back and shoulders are worked and obviously core is worked all the time. Like pretty much from the get-go you will be using your core for everything. Um, which is great obviously. We kind of, you know, can avoid working abs in the gym, which is really boring. Um, <laughs> so there's that, mm -hmm. and then shoulders, lots of shoulders and arms. But it's not, it's not really like a bicep curl or mm -hmm. something like that. It's more keeping your body at a static and angle and locking out, which is gets really difficult over a long period of time. Um, so the lactic acid buildup is quite intense, especially in the shoulders. It sounds like a very hard workout. It is, yeah, mm. it is. Do people underestimate how hard it is, do you think? Yes, massively. <laughs> it's always funny, actually, when people walk and they're like, oh, this got to be too bad. And then 
die halfway through. Like, oh, are you okay there? <laughs> now, if any guys watching this video want to take you up on that challenge that you, you put out there just um, a little while ago, how can they get a hold of you and how can they find out more about men in pole fitness in South well, Africa? Well, an easy one would be obviously Google. Hit the, hit the Google machine. Um, I'm obviously at Pole Dance Cape Town, so you can just look up Pole Dance Cape Town, one of the advanced instructors there, um, and just pop a mail and be like, hey, I want to take up David on that challenge and just come along for a class. Um, generally, the Saturday morning would be the best class to attend. Is that the easiest one? Yeah. Okay. 9.30 to 11, so an hour and a half, mm. um, which we warm up and stretch and, and train it out. So that would be the easiest class to attend. Um, for men who want to accept that challenge out there. I didn't even think I was going to do a challenge until it just happened as well. It just happened, it was a spontaneous challenge and now you have to honour it. Yeah, no, definitely, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. David, thank you very much for Not coming Not a problem. In. It was great to be here. <laughs>